What is up guys, Orange91 here, and welcome back to another episode on, of course, Casino Blade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we of course made our way throughout, of course, more of Ionios to search for the, um... To search for the Origin Metal, and now we're going to continue on doing that. So, uh, what we need to do next is we need to head on over to the woods here. If I remember correctly, the spot that we need to go to... Is not over there. Um, over here, I believe. We have to go over here. Because the piece that we need is in low max of wildwood. The lower part. Guys, I just want to let you know that we will not be able to do the uh, send a sign mission there's because. A path to the lower levels. Yeah, I know there's a path to the lower levels. She's over, oh, she's over there. Come back, Juniper. It's not an easy descent. Watch your step. You got it. Watch your step. Is this like a rare thing? But as I was saying. You have to steal your breath and approach from the back. Then you strike, and the rest is easy. What? You? I came out of left field. You're trying to creep me out there. Huh. <laughs> but that guy's... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, the Lone Wildwood is filled with a bunch of high-level monsters. Level 71, so we gotta be careful. But like I said, um... Before I was interrupted. We will not be able to do the Senna side mission because while I was recording that, I was getting a whole bunch of background noise and it was just, it just was never working out. So, oh, oh dear. Like uh, well, do or die. He's right. She's right. Oh, we got him, nice. We don't have Segure, so we're gonna have to take the other way around. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere around here is poison water, so we need to be like really, really hey. careful. No, we're not going over there. And there's a there's also two dragons down here. We need to be careful because there are two dragons down there. 
Is there a good use for that? And a unique monster down here too. to choose best tree shade to, to nap in by chasing drowned butterfly brown butterfly the wood life good to add more names uh gonna do that later at another time i hope we can make use of this this should prove useful later we should take good care of that begins treehouse Check and double check, but bad news is the same. Signal come from that runner. That mean runner not eat it? Based on the circumstances, that does seem to be the firmest hypothesis we have. Okay, well, let's just punch it in the gut and see what comes up. Ugh, Tim's not me, not touching it. No way, no how. Come on! Come on, big boy. There we go. Orange and metal, lovely jabby. Got it. How can you handle that with a straight face? You want a closer look? <laughs> Stop it! Keep that thing away from me, you clod! That's the fourth one. Not long now. Next one is in the furnace region. You all are probably wondering why I want Shulk and Rex to be in this part, to be in this uh, version of the story mode, and why I have cutscenes all around them that are showing them that, like, eh, kind of sort of influencing the party, sort of, and the adventure so far. Well, I don't know, it, it just feels really, it just, it would just feel like really cool to have them in this adventure. Just, that would just be really cool. Where your metal's coming from? We'll find it. I dare say we'll become an old hands at this. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Recursive reading of water, but not anything that could fit Bill. 
The coordinated data, the coordinated data does seem to be pointing us here. That means Mr. Simon done goofed. It doesn't seem very likely. Well, not too likely at least. Is it possible that it could be buried under the surface? Oh, you've got to be joking. Please don't tell me we're going to have to dig this whole place up. Dig the whole place up. Got it. Queen's conscious. I'm going to hate this. What do we have here? Let's try digging here. Nothing. Mm -hmm. No pun sense ting to me. It not anyway, gut feeling say it must be further off. No pun senses? It's the fact that I'm located in this area. Well then, let's just manage this institution, in institution and try digging around here. Queen's knees were a waste of time. Not that one either. Real close, I've got the feeling. So around so we're right in so we're in the right area at least. Alright, on to the next spot. What about here? Ah, I found it! Here it is! Nice. Only one left to go. We got some new data from Mr. Simon. The final piece of origin metal is waiting for us in... And what? 1,000 years ago?
that's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Raw emotion. Theater. Oh, all ye formless dead. Will you respond to the Queen's awakening? Nope, he's still broken. <laughs> Depressed. The sword of the end. Of all the vestiges of origin strewn through the world, who knew this fragment yet remained? That's from Future Redeem. It is no longer one with the flow. We have no means of controlling it. Will you go, then? No. There's no need, is there? Chris. He will come to me. I know it. To share with me his feelings. Is it here? It's not inside the castle. Okay. So that puts it at... Garden Defense Space! Yeah. Garden what now? It's a guard outpost at the castle rear. They bring new recruits there too, for basic training. I see. Well, phew. You had me worried there for a second. Thought we'd be back in the Antal's jaws. Even so, it's an enemy base. We can't expect to just waltz in without a fight. First, let's just try to scope it out. Alrighty. Side story, Noah. There were also a few Turkin feathers where the origin metal was buried. So Turkin's buried it. Crafty little gifts. <laughs> You're a lively bunch. Back to Kiva's castle.
chance from the front. Not like this. We can go across those islands. That way, we should be able to swing around the back. Then, it's in and out, fast as we can. Yeah. We go in, we get the shard, and we hightail it out there. Right. I can't see another way. Let's do it. Oh, 
Yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm? Strange. Now of all times.
Impulse Flavor Garnish. I didn't see that. Or read that, actually. Amazing once more. This is unsettling. Not a single person anywhere in sight. What's going on? Is this because we busted up the Annihilator? No, I very much doubt it. We didn't do any direct damage to the castle itself. Maybe it's because of the Machini Queenie? Even so, we didn't actually free the soldiers here, right? And yet no one's here. Shards changing position. Hey, Noah, look at this. Noah, it's a song. What song? You're right. It's a Cavetti one. The melody. Yeah. Hey, it's not just any melody. I know who's playing. He was Noah's off-seeing instructor. Yeah. Huh? But Chris is... Yeah. He died four years ago. Does that mean he's been reborn? Like Ethel? No. I don't think that's it. What then? Like Mobius? Like you're an...
There are two types of Mobius. The kind like Z and X, who were Mobius from the beginning, and humans who became Mobius, like N, M, and Yorin. <gasps> so, is this like a trap? Probably. But the origin metal readout is real. It's definitely here. In we go? Yeah. In we go. What? Into the jewels? They're clearly aware that we're coming. But there's no one around. He's waiting. For me. I see you.
this is the main lobby of Alchemoth. And now it's more like a fortified place. The Bionis and the Maconis. I don't suppose you'd mind telling us. I wouldn't want to force you. I first met Chris on the day of a homecoming. I remember. A short time later, I put in to become an officer. And then? We met again. The name's Noah, right? I'm Chris. Starting today, I'll be your personal tutor, all right? Let's begin. Chris, tell me something. Back then, on that day, why did you look so sad? Which day? The day of homecoming. In Colony 14. Ah, I see. So that's how I looked to you then. The others looked so happy. And the soldier, he was so pleased about it. But not you. I think... He probably felt content. Content? He had lived through it all. Fought hard. And in serving his colony, he found purpose. I find it's quite a tragic thing. But why? I mean, it was time for him to return home. What do you think that entails? Huh? Reaching your life's expiry date. Surviving through so many battles. Well, I... Do you honestly believe he was happy to disappear for such trivial reasons? That his smile belied no doubt? To me, he looked ready to cry. Huh. Being unable to choose his end. Merely accepting what comes next. Chris. There's no joy in a contrived death, Noah. I see. That's why. Contrived death, huh? At this point, I get him. Kind of, at least. On that day, he shook my belief. Was I really content? Content with the path I'd chosen to follow. <sighs> and then he chose for himself. His end would be by his desire. I need to know. What was he thinking back then? And why now? Why has he appeared before me?
now we wait. We've come quite a way. Indeed we have, Shulk.
Chris. Why become Mobius? Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? So I could see you again, Noah. But why? Your sworn mission is to change this world, is it not? Yes. And is that because you're unhappy with the way it is? It's wrong, and we have to correct it. That is all. I see. So relentless desire is what drives you. Desire? You fight for betterment. For ever greater aspirations. And what's wrong with that? Nothing at all. It's human nature, after all. But you still don't understand. There's something you must learn. What's that? To be content with one's lot. What do you mean? Don't you see? Only the strong can ever hope to reach the fabled horizon that you seek. Your words must be backed up by strength in equal measure. Winner's logic. But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lowly worm feels? Then, what would you have become of the weak? Would you abandon them? You would refute their everything? End their story there? Mobius are the ones doing that! Noah, what you're trying to achieve here amounts to the same thing. You really think freeing Origin will revive the world and solve all of our problems? You must surely have heard from the Queen of Agnes, the truth of this world. So what then? You're saying the Queen's lying? No, surely not. Then what? But there is no guarantee. The Queen is wrong, and the world is not created anew. What happens then? Huh? What if this is some flight of fancy? What if you've been taken in, staking your lives on a whim? Who's accountable? I ask you that. Um, well, I... I think... It's still the right thing to do. Oh? Uh, it was your smile. Chris? Get it now. I know why you were smiling back then. I'm good here. I get what you meant now. You asked me once if I would keep moving. And my answer... Tell me, Noah. I will. To the end. So that I can treasure those final moments. Final? When that hour is upon me, I want to look back and smile. Then I'll be good. And to come out smiling, we all have to choose where our lives take us. For our future selves. And yet, lack of choice is enough to break a person. They struggle, suffer clawing their way through endless fog. A world without choice, that's wrong. If death is a lie in this world, it deserves to end. So you'd rather perish along with the world? I just, I just want to cut this world free from Mobius. Whatever the consequences. Yeah, otherwise, the Queen would never have told us the things she did. We take everything as it comes, and we're afforded so little. Still, no matter how slim a chance we might have, it's a chance. So if that's an option we can take, then I'll take it. Noah, your melody, I hear it loud and clear. Now show it to me, your conviction and your smile. Same as with the Queen of Agnes.
lend you the power, Shulk. Uh-oh. How does Blue keep dying? the spirit shulk oh 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 you'll pay for that
Paul Joker. Noah, 
one last thing. Looks like everyone's out. No. Huh? So those things Chris said, what was that all about? Finding value. What now? value in all life. Chris, when he played his Offseer song, he conveyed his wish to me. His wish that I would come to find value in all things. He entrusted it all to you, Noah. Ergo, the rest is history. Yeah, but it's so. Sad, isn't it? I'm going, for sure. His wishes won't be in vain as we march on Origin. How is he keeping an eye on us? Do you truly want it thus, O oh ye voices? Then let me enunciate, emphatically so. The rules to which this world adheres, for the benefit of us all. Quest complete. After battling and defeating Consul Chris, the party requires the last Origin Medal. Looks like colony relations have changed. All right, guys, we're gonna stop right here. It looks like we got all the metal. Yeah, we got all the metal. We need to hand these straight over to Mr. Samuel. 
Of course, we'll do that in the next walkthrough episode. There is still a bunch of uh, hero quests that we need to do, as well as the gears before we head on over to before we head on over straight to Origins. So I'll see you guys um, next episode. Hey, show you wanna buy?